Hey, Miguel Adorati back here with the Cage Rage Wage, wage Rage section. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, here at the Wage Rage, we're going to go over the odds for the UFC's pay-per-view. We got the UFC in Las Vegas, March 2nd, Saturday. That's tomorrow night. Pay-per-view is the main five fights, and those are the odds we're going to go over here. We're in a post-weigh-in world, so if you're watching and you got to look at the weigh-ins, you got to see the guys together, you got to see, you know, Body language, see if, uh, you know, there are any tells there for you to take a look at here. And we'll see how they affect the odds. So what we got here is uh, we got Bantamweights coming up to open the pay-per-view portion of the card. Former Bantamweight champion Cody Garbrandt taking on Pedro Munoz. I like the body language. Both guys, both guys seem relaxed. Munoz a little shorter. Garbrandt seemed to indicate that. Munoz may be a little... Uh, Trying to look a little taller there. I don't know. But uh, look like uh, both guys very focused. Garbrandt minus 145. Munoz plus 125 reflects a real tight fight. You got the over-under at one and a half with the over at minus 165 and the under at plus 145. And, you know, in this one, it's almost like Garbrandt really needs a win. You know, you can't really lose three in a row. you gotta, you got to get back on track. And uh, with Munoz, you know, uh, he's going to put up a good fight. So you're going to want to see him again. So I, I don't know if uh, – more money is going to come in on Garbrandt here at the end. So we head on. We go to straw weights, and we got the ladies uh, in the straw weight division. Tisha Torres and Whaley Zang Zang minus 150. Torres plus 130 over under two and a half with the over at minus 360 and the under plus 300. I don't know about this one. It's hard uh, to judge Whaley Zang. We haven't seen her in full out competition for, uh, you know, for years and years. So uh, she seemed, I don't know, timid or she seemed, Respectful of Tisha Torres, uh, sometimes, you know, that could be a cultural thing and, and uh, you know, goes out the window come octagon time. But Torres, playing it cool, maybe got into uh, uh, Zhang's head a little bit. I don't know. And uh, as we move on, the main three car, uh, fights in the card make this UFC one of the best that we've gotten in a long time. Walter waits three rounds. We got Ben Astrid and Robbie Lawler. Astrid minus 270. Lawler, serious as a... Heart attack plus two thirty over unders at two and a half with the under at a plus two fifteen and the over at minus two fifty five. Bottom line is is Lawler fought a lot of five round fights. Maybe he'll be ready to uh, apply a different type of pressure here in a three round fight. Uh, Askren, we're gonna see what he brings at this level. And uh, you know he's done all the right things leading up to the weigh-ins. He's been loosey goosey all week at the way uh, you know at the press conferences at the media. Uh, um, you know, you're available to the media almost all over the place there in Vegas. And they pop up and, you know, people are sending out Instagrams and stuff. The guy's cool as a cucumber. Meanwhile, Lawler, laying low, probably got his headphones on or playing video games upstairs, not talking to people, not doing anything. Very different guys. Come uh, Saturday night, we'll see if Lawler's ready to be called a doorman. I really, you know, I don't think that sits well with Robbie Lawler either. Astrid. Uh, Lucy Goosey, he'll be serious uh, when the cage closes. So we'll see. We'll see if Astrid. Astrid has got the potential to be a big personality here. He's going to have to back it up. I guess one of the UFC's toughest. Most people have him almost a three to one favorite. So moving on, the five rounders. The UFC 235 welterweight champion Tyrone Woodley taking on Kamaru Usman. A lot of talk going on. Kobe Covington in the building. And, uh, you know, He's going to be sitting this one out. Uh, Dana White was playing cards, and Covington showed up, and uh, he had uh, casino security escort Covington out of the building. You know what I mean? So uh, and this fight is the one that Dana wanted. Usman played the part. Usman looked a little bigger than uh, than Woodley uh, stature-wise, and, uh, you know, he came in with the Nigerian flag painted on his face and stuff. So I think he's got himself um, in the right mindset for this fight. Woodley, uh, you know, sometimes facing a little bit bigger guy's stature doesn't matter. A hill of beans with a wrestler and a wrestler like Woodley should be able to surmount that. He's uh, on. You know, we always get him off for fight day, and he looks on. He looks focused. He looks angry. And he's been kind of, uh, you know, playing sidekick to uh, Askren at some spots and stuff. So we've actually got a little more personality out of Tyrone than we usually have. And in the main event of the evening, we got John Jones and Anthony Smith. Jones minus 900, Smith plus 600. When this opened, Jones was almost at minus 1,400. So a little bit of money's coming on Smith, maybe just that the uh, kickback was so juicy people couldn't hold off. Hasn't changed uh, throughout fight week, so we'll see. 
Smith did the right thing the whole fight week. Again, the presentation, everything. He's calm. He's cool. He looks like uh, he's ready to seize the opportunity. Jones, for whatever it is, there's something about Jones where there's just tension there. You know, he never really seems totally loosey-goosey, not the way, uh, you know, Astrid is, for example. Uh, and, and Smith uh, had a little bit of that as well. So we'll see. Most people, obviously, the prediction is Jones going to uh, establish himself in the ring and, and, you know, let us know what we already know. And uh, Smith going to have to have some type of miracle come in to break through here. Uh, Jones minus 900, Smith plus 600. Five-round fight over under is one and a half with the over at minus 160 and the under at plus 140. So people are expecting Jones to come in and wipe out Smith. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Smith's been hard to kill. And, uh, you know, uh, the bottom line is, is you got Jones here at 205. What's next for him? That's going to be the question, especially if he wins. If Anthony Smith wins, probably you're going to get the John Jones Smith rematch right away. So not a lot of questions there at the top. The only question is, is can Smith back it up and, uh, you know, make a miracle happen? I'm Miguel Roddy for the Wage Rage Podcast, and those are the odds for the pay-per-view after the weigh-ins. Uh, the fighters have come face-to-face. It's all over but the punches, and uh, we'll be back with the Wage Rage Podcast. Enjoy.